Hey Vapors, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello. Subscribe to this channel for more vape videos. Turn the bell notification symbol on so you don't miss when I upload and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. You can also find me outside of YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I love to chat with you guys on Twitter every day and I like to post to Instagram story, my like real daily life that's not vape related. So if you wanna see that, you can check out my Instagram. I can't get this open either. I also have a second YouTube channel where I do non-vape related videos and I have a vape related Patreon where the monthly rewards are vape stuff. So if either of those interest you, those links are below as well. So let's just get right into it. I've been trying to open this up. I have the Myco kit today by Smoke or Smock. Uh, I'm just saying smack because I'm so sick of people arguing about it. And so I started this in my last video, which was, it was like an old, it was an old smack. But I said, I'm just gonna say smack because like, then it's completely wrong. But you guys, it's kicking my butt to try to get this open. But this is available at directvapor.com. That's D-I-R-E-C-T-V-A-P-O-R.com. Um, that is who sent this to me and oh my god, I thought I had it. Uh, okay, got it. The kit includes the device and two pods which hold 1.7 mils of e-liquid. There's no e-liquid in them and one is 0.8 ohm and one is 1 ohm. Also comes with a lanyard and a charging cable. So let's open it up and the one I have match it. Oh my god. It's so small. Okay, I really don't care for smack that much, but like, <laughs> it's so cute. If this came in like, cause this is like ugly. I don't like this color setup. I'm not sure what other colors it comes in either. It does come in other ones, but if it came in one that like I loved, I might like it more. Love it. I like it already, it's so cute, but I might like love it. So here's the lanyard, which ugh, I wish it didn't say smack on it. And the teeny tiny micro USB to USB charge cord, as well as a user's manual, a warranty code with an authenticity stuff on the back and a do not eat packet. Oh my God, you guys, I'm like, I'm like hyperventilating, <laughs> so cute. And here are the two pods. Let's see, can you tell which one's which? Like, are they marked um, with which one is a point eight and which one is one? No, but one does say regular here at the bottom and the other one does say mesh. And you do fill them on the side. There's a little side port that you just pull out and fill on the side and then this is the mouthpiece and here are the connections on both pods and the connection on the device. The charge port on the bottom and a little lanyard spot right there and a little um, on off button I'm assuming right there and then the viewing window for the e-liquid you can see right through it in there. So I am going to check the user's manual real quick to see which one, the mesh or the regular, is the point eight or, or one ohm. So this does have a 700 milliamp hour battery. Good, good on ya smack. It's made of zinc alloy and it's 56.3 millimeters this way by 46.5 this way and 14.8 millimeters deep. The output power ranges from 10 to 26 watts and the resistance range is 0.6 ohm to 2 ohm. So the 0.8 is the mesh and the 1 ohm is the regular coil. So I am going to use the mesh because like that's all the rage now and glad that it comes with two little pods. Now I'm also feeling I think think oh yep I did feel it some plastic protection on here which we're gonna peel off together because isn't that just let's get that close up oh yeah so shiny is it on the other side too it is okay here we go oh, just for you guys Ooh, that one came off way easier <laughs> So if this came in like pink or gold or something, I might absolutely love it, but this is definitely not my color setup. It does say Myco here and Smack there. 
So, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up and I'm gonna fill it up with my flavor, Cloud Kiss. It's a strawberry cake batter available in 100 ml bottles and you can use my code TIA20 for 20% off this flavor or any other flavor. Go ahead and support your girl. It's 70% vegetable glycerin, 30% propylene glycol, available in 0, 3, 6, and 12 milligrams nicotine. Shameless self-promotion plug, over. God, this is so stinking cute. It doesn't look like there is any particular way to load that, so I'm just gonna load it in there. And how do I know she fits? Maybe it is, maybe it does go this way. Okay, so there is, looks like there's a little indicator light on here, but like it's not making any, any indication that it's in and the magnetic part of this isn't like super magnetic, but we shall see how she vapes. Okay, so this is a toggle switch, it's not a button. So you switch it up and then the light, little light flashes and you switch it off. So let me show you up close. You switch it on and the light flashes. So now in theory, when I load the pod, should it flash for me? Yep, there we go. Ding, dang, dumb. You guys, ugh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? So I love the Nord pod system by Smack. And then I tried the Cali Burn by Ewell and loved that and that replaced my love for the Nord. Nord sounds funny. But now we have this Myco. So cute. I feel like I haven't been this like, oh my God, over a tiny device since the Eleaf mini so while this is waking up let me tell you about this little dude when it's green light that means it's 70 percent power and above when it's an orange light it's 30 percent to 70 percent battery power and when it's red light it's 30 or below it does have an eight second cutoff so if you're drawing it for more than eight seconds it will shut off all right the moment of truth guys i feel like i need to get closer to the camera so you can see this little guy i feel like far away it's like what is she even making on there's nothing here it is. Ready? Ready? Wait, I'm not ready. Oh, wow. I just wanted to do a teeny tiny too because I was scared. That was another teeny tiny too. Oh my god. You guys, I hate it when I don't like necessarily love a company and then they make a product and I'm like, Shit, I like it. It's so cute. Cloud stitch. There were some mediocre O's in there. Somebody commented on one of my videos recently and said, please do more O-rings in your tutorials. I am not a vape trick tutorial person. I can hardly do vapos and maybe a French in here. Let me try. That's it. That's all I got. Not even like, why would I even attempt a double O ring when I can't even do normal ones? Okay, guys, clouds, bitch. Did you see that? Oh, fuck. I like um, uh, clouds are great. Cloud production is amazing. It's super freaking cute and pocketable, and I could just boob it, literally put it in my bra, and you wouldn't even know it was there. The flavor is awesome, but it's cloud kiss. What did you expect? But in all seriousness, the flavor of, of Cloud Kiss is coming through very nicely on this mesh coil. Guess I should put the freaking lanyard on to complete the look, but like I'd rather use a different lanyard because this is not a cute lanyard and it just says smack and I don't care about that. Huh? You know what? This is probably gonna kick my ass. I'm probably gonna waste like 10, 15 minutes trying to do this and I should just um, finish the video, you know? And you know what? Everyone's all like, oh my god, pods, oh my god, another pod, 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 pod system, bleh. But I like them, so bring on the pod systems. 
Just not the pre-filled ones, they're not very good. Oh my God, I got it. You guys, I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh snap, oh snap. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get over the last hump of, I gotta put it down. Da 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 da. Yes, I got it. Okay, there we go. Completed the look of the Maiko. Isn't it so stinking cute? Like, literally, look at it in the palm of my hand. It literally, literally don't even know I have a vape. Can I vape it like that? And then you don't even know I have a vape? Pretend the lanyard's not there. What am I vaping on? You don't know. Okay, I'm gonna stop embarrassing myself. Y'all see me here, Tia Vapes loves pods and this is no exception. Man, and now I got several favorite pod devices. You know, I'm kind of glad I was pregnant in 2018 when the pod stuff hit the market because like all the pods that, were, that hit the market last year and a little bit of the year before that weren't that great. And now the ones that they're coming out with now, like towards the end of last year and the beginning of this year, are stellar so like i missed all the crap and now i'm getting all the good stuff because I was, I was pregnant that's why i wasn't you know vaping clouds i'm gonna have to do a whole nother battle of the pods at the end of this year aren't i if you want to see me do a battle of the pods part who at the end of the year let me know or like even halfway through the year because I think the end of the year is a long time. I could do a halfway through the year. So like in June, I could do a Battle of the Pods 1.5, you know, and then Battle of the Pods 2 at the end of 2019, depending on how many they come out with. But I've already tried this year like four or five pods, new pod systems, so. Let me know. That's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please learn how you can fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching. <laughs>